Hello, so welcome programmers to this tutorial on Small Basic. And what we're looking at today is how to use subroutines in Small Basic. Now, if you go on to become a Python developer or any high level programming language, you need to know how to have the modular approach. Now, the modular approach will save you a lot of time. It also makes it easier to organize your code so that you can see what is happening in different areas. Now, I'm going to start off by writing our first subroutine. Now, to do this, you write the word sub, and then you give the subroutine a name. Now, in this case, I've got a subroutine, which I'm going to call print time. And all it's going to do is get the current time. So text window dot write line, and we're going to use clock dot time and end the subroutine. Now, if I'm to run this right now, you'll notice nothing happens, all right? So I'm gonna go back and run it again. Nothing's happening. The reason why is we create our subroutine, but we have to call on it. So you might have a subroutine for working out a balance of something. You might have a subroutine for uh, creating the VAT. I can show you other videos later on on how to do that, but I've created my subroutine now. Now I'm going to put that down there. Now I'm going to have my code up here. Now watch, to call on that subroutine and to use it, all I need to do is type the name of the subroutine followed by brackets. Now at this stage, you don't need to be too detailed with this, but I'm going to call on print, print time. That will reuse that now. So I'm going to run that. There we go. It says it's 8.13 a.m. Let's go back, run it again, 8.13.08, run it again. 8, 13, 12. So what I want to do now is I want to use that as part of my program. So I'm going to create a simple program here. Let's comment this out. Let's get rid of this time. And I'm going to say text window dot write, enter your name. Then I'm going to have name equals text window dot read. Then I'm going to go text window dot write. What I'm going to do is some concatenation here. So I'm going to say your name. So name plus the time is. And at the end of that, I am going to run our subroutine. And all I need to do is do print time and brackets. So what that will do now is it will ask me my name and store that into a name variable. So that's my variable there, name. The good thing about uh, using small basic is it shows you where there's instances of what you've typed. So it's good in terms of a kind of good programming environment. Now, if I go to text window dot write, it's going to join that variable into that string, and then it's going to run that subroutine. So let's see how we get on. So I'm going to run that, your name, Raymond, Raymond, the time is, and there is the time. So it is making sure that it puts that time straight away. So the time is, and then it's ran that subroutine. I'm going to show you another example of a subroutine that you can use and how you can create different subroutines to do different things in a separate video. So watch out for that video.